Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here, back with more Pico CTF 2023 version. Specifically, we're looking at the forensics challenges. Last video, we solved the hide me, which had some easy steganography. Today, we'll be looking at the PCAP poisoning. So clicking on it, the description reads, how about some hide and seek, huh? Eh? Download this file and find the flag. The little tag here says that it's PCAP and that it's forensics and there's no hints available. It's worth 100 points, meaning it's one of the easier challenges. But let's see what pitfalls we run into, if any. So right click, copy link. I'm gonna make a directory just for note taking. Uh, PCAP poisoning, and then CD into that directory and download that file that we copied. We see that it is a PCAP file. I can run the file command on it just to confirm. PCAP is a packet capture, so it records network traffic between multiple hosts. A great way to look at this is either um, Wireshark or TCP dump. TCP dump is from the command line only, whereas Wireshark is a nice, beautiful GUI. It's a graphic user interface tool. It's just something I prefer to use, but use whatever floats your boat. Wireshark is gonna pull up and load all its modules, load its interfaces. And we don't want to do a capture, right? We already have that saved packet capture. We don't want to run our own capture. So let's click on file, open. And now we got to navigate to our directory. See all my crap I have here. Pico, what did I call this? Pcat poisoning, there we go, open. Nice, you can see down here, right next to my camera, it says packets 1,510. That's a lot to work with. We'll look at filters probably later on, how to uh, narrow this down. So if you've never seen Wireshark before, or like a packet capture in general, I'll break down the different columns. We have the number of packets, right, in sequence. This is packet number one, and so on and so forth. We have the time the packet was captured. We have the source and destination IP address. This is just like sending any letter in the mail. You have the sender address your address and then you have the destination address because the mail carrier needs to know where is this going and who sent it same with computers they did they need to know who sent the info and where is it supposed to go we have the protocol whether that's um tcp which is just like general connection based protocol more reliable udp is another one it's unreliable because it's not guaranteed that your message will get sent which is great for like video feeds and streaming and music and blah, blah, blah. We have the length of the packet, how many bytes it is. And we have info, just some good notes about it. So just looking at this, not even having any info about packet captures, you could probably see something that stands out. You can probably see a few things, right? We see the, this um, packet number four, FTP protocol. It has username, root, and password, Tor, which is just uh, root backwards. If we want to investigate this more, we can right click, go down to follow TCP stream. That's going to pop up a new window that has more, more info. This doesn't really have too much more, right? So we see the username and the password that they entered. And then immediately it says port refused. So let's hit X here. Let's clear that out. Let's go back to the regular packet capture. It brought us all the way down here to the bottom. That's interesting. If I only wanted to look at FTP data, I can just type FTP if I want to silence anything else out. Okay. FTP tech data. All right. Not sure if there's anything useful here. I'm going through this blind, just like you guys. Exit out of that. See our login protocol. Remote login. What is this? This is a possible password. Hmm. All right. Flag is close. I wonder if I type frame contains flag. All right, that pops up that same packet, that one packet, right? So instead of frame contains flag, if I say frame contains Pico or Pico CTF, because that's how all the flags um, are structured, right? Hit enter and we get one result back. Um, and you can see it down here. I wonder if I can all right, if we right click here, copy as printable text, vim flag, paste that in, 
and then delete the other garbage. And there we have it. Let's grab this, and we can slam it in. So not too bad. So there we have it, we used Wireshark, very powerful tool. We didn't look at too many of the features. We could simply use the search bar and kind of like filter down on those available packets and only get what we want. I guess we were lucky. The, um, the flag was in one packet, so I could just do frame, contains, uh, Pico CTF, and it pulled it up nice and easy. So let me know how you guys solved this challenge. You found a different or better way, something faster, something cooler. Links to my socials are down in the description below. As always, take it easy and see you guys in the next video.